But the prison that he was booked into was owned by Bob Barker. We discovered that his fortune was not simply made from the prices right, but his fortune was amassed on the backs of black and brown men and women. Mass incarceration is about wealth creation right. for the American ruling class. Uh, it, it was it was quite disorienting uh, to discover that a very very close relative of mine uh, who went to a prison in a formative period in my life uh, was in was not in a prison owned by the state of Tennessee. Uh, although he went to jail for a crime committed in the state of Tennessee and he was convicted by um, a judge and I guess a jury in the state of Tennessee. But the prison that he that he was booked into was owned by Bob Barker. Bob Barker of The Price is Right uh, was tied into the prison industrial complex system and we, we discovered that his fortune was not simply made from the prices right, but his fortune was amassed on the backs of black and brown men and women whom he was able to uh, a a able to 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 make thirty thousand dollars per year on the backs of one of those imprisoned individuals. And the issue was that when they were released from Bob Barker's prison, that they could not get a job making $30,000 a year because once you are a felon, you are systematically locked out of the American system as it relates to voting and also as it relates to economics because you can often not get a job because of your record. All of this goes into uh, what it means to exploit the black body, what it means uh, uh, concerning the American project of theft that is always enduring, that we even find ways to make revenue on the backs of black and brown men and women who are incarcerated. And then we will so fashion laws and policy as to criminalize them once they have been released from uh, paying their debt uh, to society. And so when we talk about American theft, it goes deep and it continues to today. I think that all institutions should be held accountable for their part in repairing that which uh, ha has, has been essentially broken uh, and repairing the, disen the disenfranchisement of uh, Black Americans. There are many institutions uh, in this nation that stem um, to the period in which Black Americans were enslaved. And yet those institutions entirely have been left um, to not give any account, not even to speak of repair. The only thing that we've gotten up until this point is possibly some uh, apologies, some tepid apologies about slavery from some uh, institutions. 
those institutions really need to begin the work of repairing because many of those institutions have endowments. They have properties that are worth millions and uh, all they want to do is articulate a regret from enslaving, enslaving human beings when in fact their wealth has been built on the enslavement of those human beings a wealth that they still enjoy to this day, and they must be called to account. 